everybody, it's Kate from Double H. I'm here on this wonderful Media Monday to bring you guys some of my favorite picture books and read you a story. So this first book is called And the People Stayed Home and it was actually written in 2020, so not too long ago when the COVID pandemic started. Uh, Kitty O'Mara, the author, wrote this as a poem uh, and it went viral and so she decided to partner up with two illustrators, Stefano De Cristofari and Paul Parada and make this book. And it's a really beautiful book and reminds us of how important it has been to stay at home and what we've learned. So, and the people stayed home. And the illustrations are so nice. And the people stayed home and they listened and read books and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being, and were still. And they listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, even the puppy. Some met their shadows. And the people began to think differently. And the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. And this book is really special. I think it shows us that as hard as this has been to stay home, it's been really, really good um, to do that, to stay safe. And it's also helped our earth heal a little bit. So thank you guys. This next book I'm gonna read is called The Adventures of Biko, The Unimaginary Friend by Dan Sant At. Uh, it's a really fun book. It makes me think of all the friends that we have both at camp and in our world and to remember uh, them during this time. So enjoy. I'm going to take the book cover off because it gets a little noisy. And it's got a really cool cover underneath as well. So this is called Biko. The Adventures of Biko, the Unimaginary Friend. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here, they lived and played, each eagerly awaiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night, he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. Poor Beagle. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. Looks like he's headed off on a quest. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things, but thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music and everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar, so he followed. He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. There he is. But no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello! He's climbed down the tree and he's giving this little girl her paper. Her face was friendly and familiar and there was something about her that felt just right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but 
after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. And he got his name, Beagle. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks, they told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. It's important. And together, they did the unimaginable. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed these stories. They brought a smile to your day. We miss you all very much, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.